welcome to Off Kilter and I'm Owen and we're going to get some chickens! Hey everyone, welcome to Off Kilter. This will be our first true video of homesteading for the Off Kilter Homestead channel. Though it is a few days into Off Kilter's carnivore month. Uh, if you are joining us, keep at it. You're probably starting to feel a little crappy. It will get better. Just uh, keep keep at it and you're really going to start to see the benefits here in the next few days. So like Owen said, we are going to be doing what most people do when they're getting into the world of homesteading and that is to get some chickens. We still have our garden. It's dormant right now. Well, there's many reasons why we will get back to gardening. It is still important to us even though I'm only eating just meat. The vegetables that Hannah and Owen are going to eat and the vegetables that, that we're able to give away to, to feed those who need it. That's the core of why we exist. That's what we want to do is be able to uh, provide not only for our family, but at least one others and teach them how to do it. Uh, hopefully we, we get to the point here soon where we're kind of cranking along and, and we can bring on another family and and kind of show them what we're doing and get them set up doing the same thing and that's that's the whole goal is help us but help others that's why it's in our kind of slogan or mantra or whatever you want to call it chicken tracker for meat birds i used to be the receiver at tractor supply and anytime they would get in a bad boy lawnmower they'd throw the crate away that it came in. I'm too much of a hoarder, could possibly use that down the road kind of guy. So I like to keep stuff like that on hand just case you never know. So I grabbed it and I said, I'll think of a use for it one day. Well, I was sitting at the house and I'm like, hey, that would make a really good hog trap. And so I got what I needed and grabbed a 110 volt welder from Harbor Freight because I didn't know how to weld knew it would be a, a skill that would help me down the road so i got that and figured if i can weld with a 110 volt i should be okay when i finally move up to an actual decent welder so i grabbed that just little stick welder and i built this it's not pretty i'm i'm okay that i'm not a good welder as long as it's structurally sound, I don't care how it looks. If I got to take a grinder to it every time, perfectly fine with that. My question though, uh, you know, I lost the property that I was going to use it. So I never finished it and it just kind of sat around three or four years. So it hit me the other day. Hey, I could use that as a chicken tractor and, you know, get 10 meat birds you know, 15 meat birds. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Probably, probably not 15, probably go 10, no more than 10 in this size. And, uh, yeah, you know, we can start getting into that. If nothing more than, you know, put the chicken tractor on our existing garden beds and let them go to town on some of these stinkhorn mushrooms. Cause I just don't know what more I can do other than dig it up totally in all the whole yard that the garden beds are in and bring in fresh dirt and just start start new and i really don't want to do that but i have heard chickens will devour those things and get them gone so that's probably what we're going to try i don't know we'll see we definitely know we want chickens we want meat chickens to start off with eventually we'll move on to layers uh we're just kind of limited on space right now but we will definitely be getting some meat chickens what I'm planning on doing, and I'll let you guys tell me in the comments what I'm doing wrong or if I need to do something different. I want to take these bars off. I'm gonna cut these out so we can, I can put in a, a lid uh, that way we can get to. I'm gonna leave these bars on. This is what we're gonna attach our feed system to. And I mean, why go through the hassle of cutting them off? The ones that we don't need for the feed uh, I'll just leave them on there. But my question is the bars down here, do I need to cut those off or are they okay the way they are? I don't expect an issue with Bumblefoot. I'm thinking more comfort of the chickens. You know, it would annoy me to always have to be hopping over something. So should I, should I just go ahead and take those out or are they fine the way they are? 
I don't know. Looking for some advice here. But I'll step back. That way you can kind of see what we're working with here. And it's not huge, but decent little chicken tractor, I'd say. I did learn, because it's been a while since I've uh, done any metal work, or not learn, remember, don't use sleeveless when you're grinding and all that stuff. That was fun. At least this time I'm wearing shoes. When I first started learning how to weld, I'd be out there in a pair of flip-flops and, and basketball shorts and a sleeveless shirt and just going to town. Didn't matter how many times I got burned, I was stubborn. I was a little worried about my beard this time because it's sticking out of the bottom of my, my grinding helmet and that kind of had me worried. So this is our chicken tractor. We'll be getting some meat chickens here in the next month or so. Uh, I know it's gonna be a little bit warm for meat chickens. I'm gonna come up with some systems to help that out a little bit. I'll, I'll have shade on here along with a dedicated all-weather fan. Kind of blow in there and keep them cool. If I have to set up a mister, I will. But again, I know that meat chickens don't do well in heat, and I know we live in Florida, and Florida sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, we're a little late, as usual, for getting involved in all the meat chickens. Help me figure out something to do with that, too. It's a water tank for my brother, the pump works thinking about using it to collect rainwater, though it's not very big. So if you can come up with an idea that I can use that. Oh, maybe I could use it with the, no, that's too much water. So I look forward to reading your comments, some different ideas that we can get with the, the chicken tractor here. And remember to be self-sufficient, help everyone you can, inconvenience no one. Thank you, bye.